Welcome to the stairs edition of Design Delicious. I have these back stairs. They're servant stairs. We call them that because we have two sets of stairs, obviously. They're not our main stairs, and they've been a problem for me for quite some time. They had thick red carpeting on them, and my dog's hair would always go on them. So I decided to get rid of that for once and for all. About a couple of weeks ago, I tore up the carpet, and I found this thick, thick, thick foam that was actually embedded into the stairs. So it took me a week just to chisel all that off. And then it took me two days of sanding so that I could actually get a nice grain to the wood that the paint would adhere to. I tried to film that, and there's a couple of clips to show you that. Unfortunately, it was such a narrow area and there was so much dust that it was better just to show you the end product. So after I ripped up the carpet and after I took off all the foam and after I sanded the whole area for two days, then I cleaned everything as best as I could. If you're going to sand and you're going to paint, you have to make sure that there's no dust there. Otherwise, that paint will come off. The other things that I had to make sure of is because it's such a small area, I had to make sure that it made the place more open instead of making it darker. So when I chose my paint, I made sure that it was slip resistant, so no high glosses or anything like that. And I made sure that the colors, if it scratches off because of the dogs or whatever, would wear well, as well as not make the, sm the area seem smaller than it is. So all that being said, here is the end product. Now, with these stairs, what I've done is I have created the faux runner look. And it was, it, was a, it was a call for me to do it because I wanted them to look a little bit more complicated than just painted stairs. And I think this really did it uh, in a very fantastic and clean and open way. Uh, so here's, here's how it went down. Because <laughs> you always need to go through this. I have the baseboard and then I put another piece of uh, molding on top of it just to expand it and give it a little bit more detail. I then continued the white paint through the baseboard and about six inches in. Now what I did was I actually measured off, I had a, I cut a piece of uh, wood as a template so it was easier just to draw the lines so it was six inches in and I literally just flipped it up and flipped it down, flipped it up and flipped it down and put a line as I went through. After I drew the lines, I put a piece of uh, painter's tape right through the whole thing. That's when I did all of the white first and then I did the gray and I didn't worry about the black. I did two coats. Then I took off the um, piece of tape and then by hand I did the black runner line. Now if you don't have a steady hand then all you have to do is wait an extra day for the paint to cure so it won't come up and you can put tape on either side and paint in the middle. But this has not had to be an exact thing. It just has, you know, there's a couple of bumps here and there. People will not notice the small things, but if you don't have a steady hand, make yourself a stencil by putting the tape on either side. Now, there's two coats of every color here just to make sure that um, it really goes into the wood and that if it chips off, you know, uh, it, it's got a, a steady uh, base. And I think it works really, really well. Now, let me tell you a couple of reasons why this actually works for us, but it might not work for you. One, we don't have any children, so we don't have to worry about anybody falling down or running down these stairs. That being said, my husband and I probably will run down the stairs and fall down them, but we won't feel bad about ourselves. So, and our guests don't use these stairs either. So it's a very safe bet of not having to have a runner. You might want to consider doing something like this, and then you can pick up uh, um, slip-resistant pads. They can come in clear, they can come in black, they can be paintable, but have something on there so that if you do have children, their socks are not going to just slip right off this, and you know, you're not going to feel bad at the end of the day. This project was not a weekend project. I ran into a lot of problems. I had to do an awful lot more sanding. The house was a mess because dust went everywhere even though I had made sure that everything was taped off. Evidently not exactly sure. So when you do this project make sure you have time to go all the way and, and finish it off as well as the cleanup. This took me about four days. Now one of the problems I ran into was the floor. So after I make myself a new shirt, because I think this one's had it, we're on to the floor. <laughs> 